Good morning, good morning, and welcome back to Vlogmas. Today is Monday, December 11th, two weeks until the big day, folks. Two weeks until Christmas. And so today is Housewife Monday. And Housewife Monday is not going to be me cleaning the house or doing the laundry or doing anything like that. I actually did the laundry and stuff yesterday because today, Housewife Monday, is going to be me running all of the errands. And my goal, my goal is to complete my Christmas shopping today. Today. I know it was something that I set as a goal in my uh, membership only Discord channel for this week. On Sundays, I tend to ask, hey, what are your top three goals for the week? And people can respond and set their intentions and set their goals so we can keep them accountable throughout the week. And mine were to finish one of my books, to finish my Christmas shopping, and to film two videos slash brainstorm content for the rest of the year. And I decided that instead of this week being the goal for completing my Christmas shopping, Today is the goal for completing my Christmas shopping. So what is that going to look like? It's going to look like me going to the mall, um, not Mall of America. I love Mall of America. I'm thrilled that Mall of America is one of the malls that I can shop at regularly because it's not that far away from me. However, during the holiday season and when I have specific goals in a time frame that I want to accomplish them in, the Mall of America is not the right choice. So I actually placed a pickup order for something that I needed to get for somebody at a different mall in Minnetonka. And so I'm going to go out there, go to the mall, pick up my thing, pick up a gift card to the store that I need to go to, pick up a gift card to Macy's that I need to go to. I'm just about to place an order for another gift that needs to get done. I have a list. I have a list of all of the things that I need to go do, acquire. I'm going to call Trader Joe's and see if the beer that my husband wants is in stock. I need to go to Walmart to find something specifically that I can't get at Target. It's going to be a day. It's going to be a day. We're going to see if I can do it, but I am dressed. I have a little bit of makeup on my face. My hair is just thrown up because I don't need to worry about doing anything with it until tomorrow. And today's goal is to get all of that done. If all goes according to plan or I don't get really hung up on everything and I come home with a reasonable amount of energy, I want to go downstairs and I want to lift some weights. I have dinner to cook tonight. And sometime before small group tomorrow, I need to make another batch of the Cranberry Bliss Bars. Why? Because A, selfishly I want them, and B, it's a great Christmassy thing to bring, and I think we're just going to be having a little like end of year holiday celebration at small group rather than doing our Bible study. So that's the goal for today. It's a lofty goal, but then the rest of the week I actually have stuff to do. Like this is my only day this week, I think outside of maybe Friday. Do I have anything to do on Friday? Why isn't this website logging me in? Log in. Oh, invalid email. Great. Now I have to figure out how to freaking log into this website so I can buy something. Ugh. Okay, so I have nothing to do on Friday either, but midweek. Tomorrow, I have small group at night. Wednesday, I have my healthy meeting, two coaching calls, not one, two coaching calls and my live stream. And then Thursday in our membership community is our December meet and greet, talk, chit chat, whatever. And I want to do some serious end of the year celebrating. So that's really, really exciting as well. So I've got a lot that I want to accomplish this week because next week is going to be kind of making sure all of the loose ends are tied up and everything before we go to Illinois for the Christmas weekend. And it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. So let's get started because it's gonna be a long day and it is already 11.30. Yikes. <sighs> Four hours later, I'm here. I have the grocery related things laid out to do a little haul for you. And I have succeeded. There was one thing outside of my father. I don't think he watches my videos, but outside of my father who has told me he doesn't want anything for Christmas, which is always his answer. Don't know what the heck to get the man really don't know. Um, so outside of my father and my grandparents, which I pretty much always get the same thing everywhere, which is a gift card to their favorite restaurant, just so they can have a nice night out without having to pay for it. Um, because they don't want it. You ask them if they want anything for Christmas. And my grandfather goes, don't get me anything. It's my job to get you things. Don't get me anything. <sighs> what is with the men in my family? <laughs> anyway, um, so outside of those, the, my, my grandparents and my father, I'm done. I had one other person who I needed to buy for and I knew exactly what I needed at Target and Target's the place I did not go. And my husband said, oh, my glasses are in. As soon as I walked in the door, my glasses are in. I guess I'm going to Target. And I was like, perfect. You're going and picking up these two things. Please get them. And then my Christmas shopping will be complete. So now the goal is to wrap. 
the Christmas things. But first, where did I go today? I went to Ridgedale Mall, where I went to Old Navy, and I went to Macy's, and I went to Trader Joe's, and I went to Walmart and Sam's Club, and that was it. Those are my errands. So here's what I got. Obviously, I'm not showing you the Christmas gifts. Okay, Trader Joe's. I'm so proud of Trader Joe's. I only went for one reason, and it was for these. The Ales, the 2023, here's what it looks like. He put it up on the fridge. The 2023 Trader Joe's Vintage Spiced Ale. I get these for him every year, him being my husband. And it's taking me this long to get them because first, they didn't come out, they didn't come out, they didn't come out. Then, the one time I went to Trader Joe's like a week or so ago, they were out, but there was a quality control issue, so they pulled them from the shelves. So on a whim today, since I was out by a different Trader Joe's, I went and they happened to have them. So I got him those and then I went inside and surprise of all surprises, I got my fourth container of holiday vegetable hash. We haven't had some good cheese in the house for a while, so I got some unexpected cheddar. I got myself a whole thing of mini avocados because we're gonna have salmon bowls later this week. And there is something very exciting to me about having regular avocado instead of avocado mash. And I like the idea of the little ones so I can eat the entire avocado in one sitting. I got peanut butter cups as an impulse purchase at the register and then I never ate them. I was, my plan was to like have them as a sweet treat because I hadn't eaten anything since breakfast this morning. And <laughs> I didn't. Um, I decided to try this. I have been self care fail. I have not been taking a multivitamin for like several, several weeks, maybe even a month or so more because the multivitamin that I purchased, which I shouldn't have purchased, I know I shouldn't have purchased it, but I saw it at Sam's Club one day, was the GNC Women's Metabolism Boost Formula. And don't be fooled, nothing like that actually boosts your metabolism, but it has caffeine in it. And then I realized girlfriend doesn't need that much caffeine because I drink two cups of coffee, can always have a third. I have Zip Fizz that also has caffeine in it. And um, so I, I kept forgetting to take them because I wanted to space them out between my coffee, you know? So like I'd have to remember to take them like early afternoon, but not so late that the 100 milligrams of caffeine would screw with me. And it was just never working out. And plus they smell horrible awful and so like I'm averse to them I'm like I, I got through there were two 45 day supply bottles I got through 90% of it and I just I got to a point where I couldn't take them anymore I'm like nope these are repulsive to me so I got rid of them and then I never repurchased a multivitamin I ended up in analysis paralysis because the one that I wanted like couldn't get shipped for a while and blah 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 so when I was at Trader Joe's I'm like Trader Joe's has got to have something that's reasonable enough quality to put vitamins in my system so that's what I bought. Okay, then Trader Joe's saves the day. I was going to have to go to, I don't know what grocery stores to find persimmons. Last year I learned that I like persimmons. My sister-in-law had them when we were in Florida and she had me try it and I really enjoyed them. So she and I partook in persimmons while they were in season while we were in Florida. She texted me to say, hey, just so you know, it's persimmon season. And I knew that Target, even though it was a super Target, would not have persimmons. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to figure out what freaking grocery store carries persimmons. Lo and behold, Trader Joe's is one of the grocery stores that carries persimmons. So, happy day. That was it, y'all. That was my Trader Joe's haul. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven items. Oh wait, 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 nope, just kidding, this. I got my husband some maple streusel bread because he wanted a fancy breakfast bread. Uh, eight, eight items. Wow, that's a record for me. All right, moving on to Sam's Club, which I needed to go to Walmart for something specific that I'm putting in somebody's gift and cannot be found at Target Grocery, so I needed to go somewhere that had it. It was right next door to my Sam's Club. And we have been not eating our pasture-raised eggs, and guess what? My husband notices the quality difference, and we are working on being quality but less quantity consumers in terms of our food. And the eggs is one that I've bought, I've purchased these pasture raised eggs enough now that he notices the quality difference when we go back to the conventional eggs from Target. So I went and I picked up two of these because their best by date is well after we will have gone and come home for Christmas because our trip to Illinois is a lot shorter now that there's no like extended stay in Florida or anything. We're going to Illinois, we're coming back. So so I've got eggs and egg whites. That's what I went for. Then of course, a couple other things just, you know, whew, jumped into the cart. Namely this, um, because I saw this 
And I thought of the mass quantities of popcorn one can participate in for low calories. Not that calories don't matter, but like sometimes you just want something that you can eat in a volume size just because, right? Popcorn is one of those things, every time my husband makes it, I want like something more flavored, something, whatever. Um, I can pour a whole bunch of this in a bowl and eat nacho cheese Doritos, which I grew up with Doritos, so I love Doritos. Um, flavored popcorn, I don't know, it sounded good and it was on sale, so I bought it. Um, also be fine road trip food, whatever. Um, Nilla wafers. My husband made a comment a couple weeks ago about wanting Nilla wafers because we used to buy these every single time I went to Sam's Club, or at least we always had them in stock in our house. And then he got tired of them. And it's been probably six months to a year since I've really purchased them. And all of a sudden, a couple weeks ago, he's like, you know what? I really wish we had Nilla wafers. I remembered. We've also been going through tuna like champions. So I got us an eight pack of the albacore tuna. I told you we got egg whites and then I got Canadian bacon for myself. My breakfast is here do, 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 with feta cheese that's in the fridge. And then I went to Walmart to get something that is not pictured here. Just in case the person I bought the thing for happens to watch the video. I doubt it, but you never know. I needed parchment paper because I have to do a baking thing tomorrow. Uh, I found these, these are new to me and I couldn't help myself. Um, Lenny and Larry, mostly known for their protein cookie, which in actuality, in terms, if you're trying to do something healthier um, or lower calorie, the cookies ain't it. They have protein in it, yes, but it's still like 360 calories for a cookie. So you do the math. But that doesn't mean that they're not decent cookies, right? So I trust the brand. Well, I saw these and I was like, what are these? Protein bars, 170 calories, seven fat 20 carbs, five fiber, 12 protein, and gluten-free sugar cookie. Oh, are these gluten-free? Oh, I should tell my sister. Um, organic agave, agave syrup. There's no crappy sugar substitute in here. It's agave. I'll take it. So I'm going to try that. And then I need sage. Oh, and Walmart actually had the cereal that I like to eat, the Fiber One cereal. Yes, it kind of tastes like sweet cardboard, but I like it. So... It's a great way to get my fiber in. Um, and that's it. There we go. That was a very long-winded grocery haul from my adventures today. Check it out. Tonight's dinner is homemade pork teriyaki bowls. It's a spoof on this recipe from our Adventure Dates Dinner Dates book, the pork dumplings. We really liked the filling of the dumplings more so than the actual flour dumpling. And we really liked but what I really like is the recipe for this homemade teriyaki sauce. Yes, that's right. Homemade teriyaki sauce. Your girl never has to buy teriyaki sauce again. This is the third or fourth time I've made this and it's great to just have extra, like make more and have it on hand as your teriyaki sauce of choice. Only of course, if you plan on having teriyaki sauce in relatively quick succession. You don't want it to go bad, right? So we have the homemade teriyaki sauce, we have white rice, and then this is a whole white onion cut up and sauteed and whatnot. And then this is ground pork marinated in soy sauce, rice vinegar, and a little bit of sesame oil. And put it all together with a little bit of the broccoli on top. So we got onions and broccoli in here, homemade so uh, teriyaki sauce, went all around. Good morning, beautiful people. Happy Tuesday from me. In my breakout. I haven't had a legitimate breakout in a long time, and look at this. Ooh. Anyway, we're managing it. It'll be fine. I have already gotten up. I have finished Outlive, the really big, thick, textbook looking book about longevity and health, and oh my gosh, the information in that book. If you are interested, I will link it down below. It's worth a read, especially for those of you that are looking for a reason other than to lose weight, to be healthy and promote healthy habits and do those things um, because it will encourage you to exercise and do all the healthy things for reasons other than weight loss. Yes, yes it will. Um, so I finished that book today, which is one goal of the week, checked off my list, congratulations to me. I have finished wrapping all of the Christmas presents. Anything that is in my house, I have one thing being shipped to me and then I have my father that I still don't know what to for him so we'll see how that goes but everything else is done which is amazing feeling I just did an outline for a video that I want to film this week which is also great job well done and now I have two 
I want to say I have two other main to do's on my list, but really I have like 17. My two main things that I want to do today are make cranberry bliss bars for our small group holiday celebration tonight, which I'm going to go downstairs and start to do now. I'm going to bake the bars and allow them to cool before I make the icing because then in between like the baking and the icing, I can go downstairs and do thing number two, which is actually do a weight training workout. Imagine that, I was gonna do it yesterday and then with all of the errand running and everything I did, and wrapping presents and cooking dinner and cleaning up and all these things, I ran out of time. And I'm not mad because I got 10,000 steps yesterday without trying, so fantastic for me. Lovely, love that for me. So today I'm going to do a weightlifting workout. So those are the two things I need to get done. Then I would like to shower and blow dry my hair and reapply some holiday nails and do like those things. And we'll see where else the day takes us. But I'm excited, let's get going. Hello from my very dimly lit room, which is why the lights are like this. I have my Christmas tree in the background and then, are you ready for this? I have these lights on and then my hue lights that are in the Medusa lamp are actually set to this setting called candle light. So they're actually slightly flickering in this warm, calming evening light as well. And I'm just hanging out in my office. Um, it is not Tuesday, by the way, it is Thursday now. And I got to a point on Tuesday where I got busy enough and time crunched enough in working out. And I need to remember, I need to remember and keep in mind that anytime I want to do something, especially if it involves physical stuff like shopping, cooking, baking, gathering, all of those things, it takes me about twice as long as I think it's going to take me. So by the time I was baking and then cleaning up the messes that I was continually making and going downstairs and working out, it was just one thing after another. And all of a sudden I was like, ooh, back to back to back to back to back. And I didn't have time to pick up the camera. I didn't vlog the making of the, I always wanted to call them skinny bars because Skinny Taste is the recipe I used the first time I ever made Cranberry Bliss Bars. I haven't used that recipe since and I have used the Belle of the Kitchen recipe that I shared in Vlogmas on like day two. So I don't know why I keep wanting to give them a name with an S at the beginning, but I do. I have to stop and think about what I'm saying literally every time I try to say the word Cranberry Bliss Bar. Anyway. I didn't film that because there's an entire video on watching me bake those. So if you want to watch that, feel free to watch that. But they were delicious. They were a hit. We went over to dinner at my small group leaders place. We had dinner. We had an amazing night of laughing. The two youngest girls in there put together this 44 questioned Kahoot game, which is like a quiz game where we were quizzed on each other and we submitted like fun facts about our spouses and Oh my gosh, it was so, it was so fun. We laughed and had such a great time together, which is great. What a great way to celebrate the end of the year as a group, which was just lovely. So that was, that was that. And Wednesday, yesterday, I spent the entire day filming or coaching or leading healthy meetings and all those things. And that day just whoop, got away from me. I will say this though, Tuesday, I did show up for myself and I did do a weight training workout. I did the first workout in the body, formerly known as Beach Body, workout uh, program called Sure Thing with Megan Davies. I needed something that was full body because I didn't want to start lift when I knew next week was Christmas and things are gonna be all wonky and whatever. So I did a full body workout today. I am, it's Thursday now, like I said, I am so sore that I didn't work, I didn't do any weight training. I didn't do the third workout. I, yesterday I did the second workout, which was cardio and was awesome. So I did two workouts in a row. And then today, by the time I got downstairs, I was like, I and looked and it was an EMOM, every minute on the minute, how many reps you can, whatever situation. I was like, I don't know if my muscles are actually ready for that. So we're gonna take one more day of not weight training and let my muscles recover and tomorrow we will conquer the EMOM workout. So I did the elliptical today, but that's three days in a row of intentional movement. I am so very proud of showing up for myself. And that my friends is where I'm going to end this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe for more Vlogmas. There's only 10 days left until Christmas Eve. I can't even believe it. I can't, I can't even believe it. So, Thank you for watching, take care, and I will see you soon.